Drag the choice icon under Lambda Invoke, then edit rule number one. Click on add conditions. Here, I'm going to specify a condition for my file type variable. Let's set a string value for $.filetype variable as PNG, then hit save. Consider this. You want to create an AWS step functions workflow to automate a process using AWS Lambda and SNS. Can you do this by designing a visual state machine on the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code. On line two, I'm extracting the file name from our event and storing it in the file name variable. On line three, I'm extracting the last three characters from my file name and storing it in the file type variable. Finally, on line four, I'm returning a key value JSON message with my file type. Hit deploy to deploy your changes, then click on the test button to configure your test event and give it a name. In the event JSON section, I'm going to replace key with file name and value with sample.png, then hit save. Click on test again to execute your Lambda function and confirm that you see file type as PNG in the response output. Next, let's navigate to the SNS service, click on topics in the left menu, then hit create topic. Choose a topic type, give your topic a name, then click on the create topic button. Next, click on create subscription, choose email from the protocol dropdown, then enter your email address in the endpoint text box. Hit create subscription, go to your inbox and confirm the subscription, then verify that the subscription status now says confirm. Next, let's navigate to the step function service, then click on get started. Choose create your own state machine option, then drag lambda invoke in your workflow as your first state. Select the Lambda function that we just created from the function name dropdown, then navigate to the Flow tab. Drag the choice icon under Lambda Invoke, then edit rule number one. Click on Add Conditions. Here, I'm going to specify a condition for my file type variable. Let's set a string value for $.filetype variable as PNG then hit save. Since I want to receive an email every time a PNG file is processed by my Lambda, I'm going to drag SNS publish icon under rule number one. Next, scroll down to the message text box and enter a JSON message saying PNG file sent to Lambda. Select the SNS topic that we just created from the topic dropdown, then navigate to the flow tab. Since I want my state machine to fail if the file type is not PNG, I'm going to drag the fail icon under the default rule. Now that our workflow is complete, let's review our state machine. It starts by invoking the Lambda function. Then if the file type output is equal to PNG, we receive an email, else the state machine fails. Hit create. Confirm execution role creation, then click on start execution. For my JSON input to the Lambda function, I'm going to type file name of sample.png, then click on start execution. Looks like our state machine's execution was successful. Let's click on the Lambda invoke step and confirm that our input and outputs makes sense. Let's also confirm that the SNS publish step sent us an email with the message of PNG file sent to Lambda. Next, let's do one more execution. And this time, I'm going to set my input file name to sample.jpg. 
hit start execution and confirm that your state machine fails as expected. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer use AWS step functions to plan their vacation?